<laughs> Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. It's time now for our Full Circle discussion. There is a clip that's been circulating on social media of a 1971 interview with writer James Baldwin and poet Nikki Giovanni from a PBS series called Soul. And she suggests that if you truly love your partner, you should fake a positive attitude the same way you would at your job. Mm. Take a look. Mm -hmm. Because I've caught, the, I've caught the frowns and the anger. He's happy with you. Of course he doesn't know you're unhappy. You grin at him all day long. You come home and I catch up because I love you. I get least of you. I get, I get the very minimum. And I'm saying, you know, fake it with me. Yes. Oh, ladies, do you agree that you should fake it in order to make it in your relationships? I think mm. it's real. Oh, go ahead. I do not. Mm. I do not. I think it's a very bad way to start. I don't think that, I think if you do that, then someone in the relationship is going to suffer. Often it is the woman. Um, we are always taught to stroke our men's ego and be the strong supporter and the backbone. But uh, we get very little out of our relationships. Um, I think that, you know, our society has told us to be a whole woman, uh, you have to be married, you have to have children, mm -hmm. and that's where you find your happiness. Well, you, you, you find yourself to be proud of your children, but where is your personal happiness? Mm -hmm. And so I, I would not agree with faking it until you make it. I have uh, just, I, I just don't agree with that. I'm not going to get too deep with it. But um, I think uh, the best policy is just to always be honest, to set the tone initially on what, what it is that you want. Either the man is going to uh, sink or swim, mm -hmm. and that's just that. Okay. Well, I think in this instance, what Nikki was saying was the same intentionality mm -hmm. that you have at work when you put on a smile for your bosses, mm -hmm. have that same intentionality when you get home. Mm -hmm. Put on a smile for me too because at the end of the day, I'm at home cooking and cleaning, taking care of kids, and I don't want to come in and get the brunt of yeah. all the drama that you've, mm -hmm. you've dealt with out, out in the world. And then meanwhile, like, fake it till you make it, it's like, if, if you come home and get to dump your stuff on me, then it's like, then I gotta fake it. Mm -hmm. I gotta fake acting like that that's okay. Mm -hmm. You know that's what I'm why saying? I say be yeah. honest from the door. So, it, but I feel like if you make a conscious effort to say, a consorted effort to just say, you know what, I had a bad day. Yes. But you know what? I'm gonna smile and kiss on my wife and love on my wife and just change his perspective about his bad day. Yes. Then really, ultimately, it's not really faking it. Mm -hmm. It's about changing your mm -hmm. mind about how you walk into this house and, yes. and, and, and choosing your battles. Too. Yeah, like I, th I think for me. Um, I was the one that uh, for many years was so tied to the outside world yeah. and then got home and I couldn't give my husband a, a, a half of a hug because mm -hmm. I, had given the, I had given myself to the world. And so now I'm really cognizant of trying to be the same Rashawn that people see on Sister Circle, wherever mm -hmm. I am, yes. yeah. to try to be that same person at home because I don't want to have that type of mm -hmm. duality in my life where yeah. I can't be consistent. Right. And, I, and I question myself, like, are you, are you being me for no mm -hmm. apparent reason yeah. right now? Yeah. And then the other day, because me and my husband are, are, are on a very um, beautiful spiritual journey about intentionality, and uh, he was upstairs, I'd just gotten home and started dinner, and I wasn't ready to receive him. My, my attitude was not right. Mm -hmm. right. And so he was like, hey, you didn't come upstairs. I was like, I wasn't ready to receive you. And, was, and he said, well, I'm glad I came down when you were. Aww. Because that was good. Yes, I, if you're not going to be that person, right. don't be around those people that you love that can, can have the brunt of how you are yes. feeling in your that's emotional good. state. Yes. That's yes. good. So I just want to let me have me for just for a, a second, second. And and so then, I can be, mm -hmm. I can be that monolithic person that I'm trying to be. Right. I know that there's that we are we're 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 very we're varied. There's right. so many sides yes. of us, but I want to be consistent in my spirit with the people that feel it the most. Right. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. real talk. Yes. I'm, that's I'm guilty of that. Sometimes. Sometimes. Mm -hmm. Like sometimes the day is just so hard and just so overbearing and, and sometimes it does spill over into home life. Yes. And you know, and then you mad like, hey, maybe I'm hungry. Well, you're mad in the kitchen right. throwing stuff around. <laughs> right, right, right. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got no hands. Hands. and everything. And then <laughs> by the time you're finished, he doesn't want the daggone fit food right. because you're all mad. Right. And there's no love in it. Because you you know, you know, the the <laughs> about partnership yes. and I think when you're truly tuned in to be a partner yes. when you completely separate yourself from just self and say I am a part of a unit a cohesive unit mm -hmm. I actually think at that moment you can truly have something very special in terms of that cooking right <laughs> you came you came in and you were in a you know your head was somewhere else well that 
if if I if I had a partner, I would want I would have wanted my partner to step up and say, you know what, honey, let me start dinner, or let me go ahead, or, or just yeah, be in there without me even having being to, just tune, being be able to read to read, read yeah. me yeah. enough, mm -hmm. read me enough to understand exactly what it is that I need. I could be having a very bad day and just need a hug. That's but it. Instead, yeah. you're telling me what we gonna eat today. Well, you got. <laughs> <laughs> but here's the deal. Not only did you work today, I worked today. Mm -hmm. Then I had to come home and clean up. Then I got to take care of your children. Then I have to keep you lifted. What is in it for the woman? That's all that I'm simply saying. I think and that's, that's what she was saying. saying. And that's exactly yeah, what she was saying. She, she saying. she came home and she gets the least the of least. him. Mm -hmm. And that's just awful. We have to reroute the way we're thinking mm -hmm. when we're talking about getting into these relationships and actually being a partner. Mm -hmm. A partner is so important. I do not want a, a single Ooh. soul if you're not a partner. And I'm done with that. <laughs> Whatever you're on today, I, I'm here for it's it. Somebody said something. Somebody said something. something. A word. Well, thank you so much <laughs> to Nikki Giovanni and James Baldwin for that beautiful clip that yeah. has been circulating mm -hmm. and to our author. Yeah, I appreciate it's, you, it's a full thing. I think it's on YouTube. The full, the full no, I think, or CBS or something. PBS. 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 PBS, PBS. Uh -huh. has the full interview. Okay. It's very, very, very it's, good. It's called Soul. I want to see it. it. Love it. Love it. We'd love to hear how you feel because let me tell you, we have told you how we feel.